Iraq's autonomous Kurds preparing politically to separate are testing the mood in international capitals. Washington has said it prefers a united Iraq. This comes after a Kurdish decision to hold a referendum on whether to become a distinct state. This activist says we, the Kurdish people, demand the establishment of an independent Kurdish country. The Kurdish region's President Masoud Barzani asked its parliament on Thursday to prepare the way. Iraq's five million Kurds have ruled themselves within Iraq in relative peace since the 1990s. They have expanded their territory by up to 40 percent in recent weeks as Sunni Islamist militants seized vast stretches of western and northern Iraq. They see a fully sovereign state as within their grasp. Barsani did not offer a timetable, but said prepare for a referendum to decide on self-determination. We will be in a better position and will have better weapons in our hands. It's time to decide about our self-determination and not wait for other people to decide for us. Washington urged Barzani to stick with Baghdad. Referring to the seizure of disputed territory by Kurdish forces known as the Peshmerga, Iraq's Shiite Prime Minister Nouri al-Maliki accused the Kurds on Wednesday of exploiting current events. This Peshmerga volunteer says maybe men are ready to fight, but I'm more prepared. Speaking for myself as a woman, I am very well trained to go to the front lines to confront the ISIL extremists. Kurdish media quoted Barzani as saying, we've waited 10 years and things only got worse. We have to think of ourselves and our future. In Baghdad, the first meeting of the Iraqi parliament since its election in April collapsed without agreement. Kurds and minority Sunnis walked out, complaining Shiite lawmakers had not yet determined who they would put forward as premier for another term.